Aloha, I'm Terry Lilly, a marine biologist here in the Hawaiian Islands. I hope you enjoy my film. Oh. Waimea Bay is one of the most beautiful natural bays in all the Hawaiian Islands. It's located on the north shore of Oahu, and the bay was created by the Waimea River carving a deep canyon through an ancient lava flow. The river produced an extensive wetland, and this wetland's very important for filtering the rainwater and removing a lot of mud and debris before it goes out onto the reef. Waimea is a very sacred place to the Hawaiian people, and Waimea Bay means sacred reddish water. Over about 70 years ago, the government mined a lot of the sand off of Waimea Bay Beach and brought it over to Waikiki to build up the beach over on the south shore. What this did is it ruined part of the wetland area in Waimea Bay, which now allows a lot more of the muddy, rainy water to flow directly out to sea, which kills a lot of the coral. The right side of the bay is a rocky, submerged cliff that is about 15 feet deep down to about 35 feet deep. On top of the cliff has several large round boulders that go upwards, almost to the surface of the sea, right underneath where people surf the big waves in the wintertime. In the summer, the reef is habitat for many fish species like the Mika Eco, which is the white barred surgeon fish, and Tapi, which is the blue striped snapper. There's a few corals left out at Waimea Bay that dot the reef from cauliflower to antler corals, but most of the coral died years ago when they mined all the sand off the beach and released a lot of mud onto the reef. Once you get a little bit closer to shore, the reef actually gets deeper. It goes into an area where there's several large holes in the reef. These big holes have gigantic round rocks in them that actually roll around into big surf. So every year these rocks are making these holes bigger and bigger and bigger, which actually changes the entire structure of the reef, which is going to change how good the surf breaks up above. Here's a giant rock here that rolled around one year and got stuck in a cave. In the summertime, when the waves are flat, there's all kinds of marine life that call Waimea Bay home, like cone shells and these really cool four-foot-long Puhi Uha, the conger eel, these gorgeous orange cup corals that grow in the cracks in the caves where it's dark, Uhu, or Mimpachi, the soldier fish, and huge schools of flagtails come in and inhabit the entire bay during the summertime. There's also really large schools of Akuli that come into the bay, which are often caught by the fishermen. All of this marine life, including the honu, the sea turtle, comes in and rests on the reef, and vana, the sea urchins. And from time to time, we'll also see some of the white tip reef sharks in the bay, which are called mano lalakea. So the bay is really pretty much filled with a lot of marine life during the summer. But as soon as the big winter swells start up in the fall, almost all the marine life leaves the bay and goes out into the deep sea. Native Hawaiians lived in Waimea Bay for over a thousand years, but they never decided to go out and try to surf the giant waves because it looked just too dangerous. It wasn't until the early 1950s when some of the locals, Eddie Aikau, Greg Knoll, and some of their brave friends, paddled out and rode the huge waves on the right side of the bay. The waves on that side of the bay break on the shallow reef that has the big boulders that come right up to the surface. The left side of the bay is way too jagged and rugged of a reef to be rideable, and when the waves are really, really big, they'll break all the way across the entire bay, which makes it incredibly dangerous to surf or even be out in the water. Waimea Bay is extremely beautiful, and it rains there often, which produces these incredibly gorgeous rainbows. Every few years, Waimea Bay hosts the biggest big wave surf contest anywhere on earth. It's called the Eddie, after Eddie Aikau, a native Hawaiian, which was one of the very first lifeguards here at Waimea Bay on the north shore of Oahu. Over 40,000 people come in for this big event that only happens every couple years. 
big wave riders from around the world, the local big wave champions, all come out here and try to brave the waves at Waimea Bay. And it's absolutely an incredible event to watch and take pictures of. Hundreds of photographers from around the world come together for the Big Eddy event because it's one of the very rare places where you can actually sit safely on shore and watch 30 to 40 to 50 foot waves. The surf on the right side of the bay has to be really big for it to break on the shallow outer reef where most of the surfers take off at. Sometimes it gets a little bit too crowded out there and it's hard to ride the waves with so many people on them. Once the surfers make the late drop, which is right over the top of the shallowest part of the reef, then the wave begins to kind of back down and get a little bit smaller when it goes over the inside of the reef where the big holes in the reef are. During the last eddy event, the waves were so gigantic, 50, 60 feet tall, that they were breaking all the way out into the channel. You can see the surfers when they take off, they're over the shallow part of the reef, and then they get into the middle of the bay where it's about 60 feet deep. The left side of the bay was just amazing to watch from the safety of the cliffs we were standing on. And the rescue jet skis are sitting right in between these two gigantic waves to try to save the surfers when they fall off on the wave. It is really an amazing wave to watch. It's not an easy wave to ride. I can fully understand why no one wanted to do it for thousands of years. When these surfers make a drop on these really huge waves on the outer part of the reef, you'll see a big boil in the wave right there. That's actually caused by one or two of those gigantic boulders that sit on top of the reef and stick up towards the surface. Once you ride over that shallow area, then you can see the wave gets into the deeper water where the holes in the reef are and the big round rocks roll around in. So the surfers try to get to the safety of that deeper part of the reef and out into the channel. But then you can see on these huge waves, it'll break all the way across the entire bay and the wipeouts are just spectacular. Sometimes the jet skis get caught inside the big waves. They can't even make it out with all the speed they have. So once they try to rescue people, they have to race to shore. Waimea Bay is just one of the most spectacular places on earth including watching the sunsets.